You've probably all heard this classic effect from Swedish House Mafia. I actually couldn't find one video on YouTube that does that effect the right way, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. But first, I tried to take that idea and make a more modern version of it. Sick. I feel like having that effect during a breakdown of a song would just go off at a nightclub or a festival. So let me show you how I made this first and then I'll show you how I made the Swedish House Mafia version. So when I started the track, I came up with this synth part first. And this is actually a sound from a new serum pack I'm working on for you guys. I'm super excited for it. I'm still trying to make it as good as possible. So hopefully that'll be out in like January sometime. But anyway, what we want is for this whole effect to build into the first note. So I'm just gonna take this first note and bounce it to audio. And what that allows us to do is just drag that sound into a sampler so we can have some more control over it. And you should be able to do this in whatever sampler you use. The overall idea will be the same. But the first thing we wanna do is just turn it into a loop. So I'm gonna change the loop to forward. So now when I hold down a note on my keyboard, it just keeps repeating. And the whole basic idea of this effect is to just shorten the loop over time. To make it a little cooler, I actually like changing it to this mode, which alternates between going forward and reversing the sample. So this is actually really easy to set up. We just need something within our computer to be able to control that effect so we don't have to do it by hand like I've been doing to show you guys. So I'll just go to this modulation matrix and as the target, I'm gonna hit loop end because we're affecting the end of the loop. And for the source, I'm just gonna hit mod wheel so we can change it with our mod wheel. And I'll just move this knob all the way to the left. So the mod wheel is just a knob on your MIDI controller. So the more I turn this wheel up, the shorter the loop will get. But we can actually control that wheel in our computer. So let me just start a new MIDI region here, and I'm just gonna create one super long note. Then I can just go into the MIDI settings here and find modulation and that will control the mod wheel. So then we can use that to dial in whatever settings we want here. But you can hear that sounds pretty bad. It actually takes a good amount of messing around to get this to sound smooth until you get the right type of sound that you're looking for. So after some messing around, this is the final shape I came up with. But there are some things we can do to make the sound a lot smoother and more professional still. So first I'll add this low pass filter. And I've just written in some automation here for the filter to come in and out. Another thing that's gonna help smooth it out a little bit because it still sounds a little rough around the edges is adding a ping pong delay. So I just added that ping pong delay to the automation settings and had it come in and out at around the same time as that filter is coming in and out. Then to really smooth things out, I'm gonna take the original stab sound, then I'm just gonna fade that in a little bit, then I'm gonna add this massive reverb that's literally 30 seconds long. So then I can bounce that out and reverse it, and then we're left with this. And I'll just fade in a little bit of atmosphere too. So after all of that, we're left with this. So 
So now we know how the effect works, let's talk about how Swedish House Mafia did it. So in their case, they're starting with a kick sample. And they're doing the same thing where they drag that kick sample into a sampler. And then they loop that and automate it so it's the same effect we were doing before. But every video I've seen on YouTube of someone trying to do this, they all do the same thing wrong. So they do that kick loop effect. Notice how bad it starts to sound at the end there. The notes stop gliding into each other and it sounds really choppy. The way they made it sound smoother was they actually stopped shortening the loop right here. So when you get to that point, you kind of have a tonal sound, like a sense. What they did after this point right here is they actually started pitch bending it up. So that makes it sound a lot smoother right there. And then after that, they added some reverb and a tremolo effect to give it a little more movement. Then to start playing the main melody in the track, all you have to do is bounce that effect to audio and then cut off the end of it and throw it into a sampler. So here's the full effect with all of that automation playing together. I hope that was a cool video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.